Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is seven most interesting knives in my collection. Now, this was incredibly difficult to, to come up with. I have so many knives that I could have switched one out for. I could have did a top 20. But starting off, we have the Riat K2. Now, what's interesting about this knife, I think you can see it. It looks very similar to a katana. Now, this has an S35VN Tonto blade with a dual grind, a very thin hollow grind right here in this area, and then a little bit more robust flat ground area up in the tip to make the, the tip very durable for penetrating. Now, the handle, you know, you can see how it kind of has the diamond pattern, like, you know, like the, the katanas when they were wrapped with leather. Now, there's multiple different versions of this knife um, where you can get them, um, like, say, the knife joker ones. Um, there's there's just a bunch of different ones. These ones are discontinued. I don't think you can get this one anymore. You might be able to find the, the knife joker ones, but they are incredibly hard to get. And, man, they are so awesome. It is made by Riat, an in-house design. The action is insanely good. Stupid smooth. And the flipping action is really, really good. It is on ceramic caged bearings. This is all titanium right here. Titanium backspacer and clip. And then you can see how they machined these diamonds in there. Really, really nice. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is the Quiet Carry Waypoint. What makes this one interesting? Well, this knife is 100% rust proof or rust resistant. Now, that is one thing you always have to worry about or put into consideration with knives is the corrosion. Now, yes, there are some materials and steels that are highly corrosion resistant and that's what why sometimes it makes the knives very incredible including this one this one has arguably the best steel you could put on a knife this is vanax super clean on the blade the blade is made out of vanax super clean now this has incredible edge retention because that's also the the more difficult thing is to have a knife that gets incredibly sharp and holds an edge for a very, very long time while also being extremely stainless. There are some other steels out there that are really good, but none of them can hold up quite like Vanax. So the steel is just incredible. Then the handle material is titanium and the liner, usually made out of titanium or steel, this one's made out of LC200N, which is another stainless steel that is extremely corrosion resistant. It resistant. It has washers that are made out of phosphor bronze washers, so those are also stain resistant. And the clip is actually a stainless, but it's like it's a high, high, high stainless. Like you're never gonna have to worry about. Uh, you know, it, it's a stainless, so, but there are different levels of stainless steel. It is thumb stud deployment, and it is a, a smaller compact knife that's uh, very easy to carry. Um, great action. It's not a fall shut type of action, but it is very, very smooth, easy to deploy. All the hardware is also titanium, and yeah, it's just, it's incredibly well built. Um, we have a drop point, or I guess you could call it a drop point. Some people would call it a clip point, but a drop point hollow ground blade that's very, very thin. So it also slices incredibly well. Let's get to the next one. Next one is the Spartan Harsey Folder. What's incredible about this? Well, you can probably see it. It is all this machining. This is the Mayan calendar. And it is machined into this titanium. This is two thick slabs of titanium. And it is milled. And you can feel it. I mean, it, it's deeply milled, the Mayan calendar. Now, you can get these in lots of different versions as well. There's all different kinds of artwork you can get on these. Now, this one, the Mayan calendar, some of them come with gems right here in the hands. But very, very beautiful artwork on it. And the anodizing is beautiful. We have titanium hardware and a clip. 
and then you can see that little uh, gold in there. That is the lock bar stabilizer. You can actually see it right there so that you don't unspring the lock when you unlock it. Very, very smooth. It is on phosphor bronze washers. And the blade steel is S35VN. The blade is extremely robust. This is a hard use knife. Take away the beauty. It is an incredibly tough knife, incredibly hard use knife. And that's, you know, basically what it is. It's a tactical hard use, you know, hard hitting knife that's incredibly strong and incredibly useful while also being beautiful. So it has a little bit of form and function, I guess you could say. Now, it might not be as slicey as some people would like because with the strength comes robustness. This is a very robust blade. The action on it, yeah, very, very smooth. Thumb studs are titanium and are very, very well placed. You have this little chamfer right here to get your finger right down to the thumb stud and pow. Awesome, awesome knife. Love this one. USA made. Let's get to the next one. The next one is... The Hinderer XM18 3.5 inch. So they make multiple different versions of this. They have the 3 inch and then the XM24, which is a really big version. Now, what is so interesting about this one? You probably think it's the scale. And that is very interesting. Um, this is a Hinderer scale. I have multiple scales um, that I can switch out. Because with these knives, which is what is so interesting about it, you can make it your own. There are so many parts available for this. You can switch it out, make it exactly the way you like. Different types of handle material. If you get titanium, different designs. And then the next thing. You see that little sign right there? That is the triway pivot sign. So what that's for is if you take this apart, like the lots of knives, if you heard me before, I said this was on phosphor bronze washers. And if you look in there, you can kind of see the washers in there and you see the little bronze in there so that what you see right there is basically these washers right there so you have the opportunity to make this teflon washers phosphor bronze washers or you can make them bearing so these are the original bearings. I switched them out for some Gillian bearings. These are USA made, handmade ceramic caged bearings with really thick um, bronze cages, phosphor bronze cages. So that's the type of washers I have in it right now. And it is stupid smooth, just ridiculously uh, fidgety. And, you know, the action is incredible on this. But... I could change it out. I could change it out and put a Teflon in there, whatever I want. And that is very unique. I, I don't know of any other knife that's actually doing that. And Hinder did coin it, I guess you could say, because people, some people wanted bearings. Some people wanted phosphor bronze. Some people wanted Teflon. This way, you can have whatever you want. It comes with the knife and you can switch it out. And also, you can buy so many different kinds of parts and just build it up however you want different colored hardware different colored scales all these little pins and stuff or plates you can switch the plates out just so many options it's endless definitely endless next the next one is the demco ad15 now this one is the joker edition that's why it is these colors now, what is interesting about this knife? You just seen me do it. It is the locking mechanism. Now, Andrew Demko, the maker of this knife, uh, he likes making incredibly strong locking mechanisms. Um, he has invented the strongest locking mechanism on the planet. And also, this is a custom, but you can get Cold Steel's version of this, which is incredibly similar it's basically the exact same knife um it's just instead of it it's not titanium so but you can get one of these there's even a lightweight version so um they're very affordable with uh with the lightweight version uh but I, i'll link them below i'll link whatever i can down in the description but this is the custom version 
And this lock is not only incredibly strong, but it's also unique. So we have a spring back here, which is making this push forward this way. See how when I pull it, it pulls back. So what happens is that creates a detent in that groove right there. So when I push it out, that uh, stop pin right there, when I push it out, then it snaps out and then this groove comes around and the stop pin drops inside of it. Well, now it's locked up very, very solid. And if I'm holding it, it's even stronger because I'm actually putting pressure on it, making it basically impossible to fail. Um, and then to, to close it, you just grip the scales and you can take this pointer finger and pull this out like that with this pointer finger and swing it shut. And then some people like to pinch it and then push forward because you can also do that and just slap it shut like that. Lots of different ways to fidget with it, but awesome, awesome knife. We have um, 20 CV steel, G10, um, titanium back spring, and then we have a steel stop pin, and we have steel liners that are anodized. Incredible knife. Um, and like I said, the cold steel version is a more affordable version of this that is very, very similar. I will link whatever I can in the description. A lot of these knives are I'm not going to be able to link, but a lot of them you actually can find if you look around or if you go to the right websites or if they're not available right now, they, they will be. Next. Next one is the Rockstead Higo. Now, what is so incredible about this knife? Well, there's a few things. It's a Japanese made knife for one. And this is a very, let me rub the fingerprints off. It is very expensive. Um, usually they're over a thousand dollars. It just depends on which one you get. There's a lot of different rock studs, but you can see the mirror blade on there. Now one, that's already incredible. To be able to get that level of mirror is very hard for companies to do, and that's why it's also very expensive. But the, the scales are very comfortable, very neutral. We have nice big phosphor bronze washers in there. It is very, very smooth. Mine is very much broken in. It is more of a slow rolling knife. However, I can easily flick mine. Technically, I can even front flip it, but I don't like to, but you can. But anyways, what's so incredible about this is this steel ZDP 189 HR seed heat treated to, I think this one's 66.3 HRC. See that little dot right there? That little dot says how hard this steel is, or when they tested it, That that's the mark from where they tested it. So, and so they test every single one and they, they can range between like 63 to 67 HRC, which HRC is the hardness of the steel, how hard it is. Now, steels come in different hardnesses, just like if I pull up any of the other knives, they all have an HRC number, <clears throat> how hard that steel is. Well, 66.3 HRC is insanely high it's so so high i think um steel can start cutting glass i think around 66 hrc i think something like that either way they these come incredibly sharp now this is also a convex edge it goes down to a zero grind i mean it's it's a convex edge that you see how flat this is right here. And then from there to the very tip of the edge, it rounds down. Incredibly durable, incredibly sharp, nice and robust. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Now, the one downfall to this one is it does not have a clip, but it does have a sheath. So it does come with an actual Rockstead sheath with um, the hardware to take it apart and this thing is incredibly easy to take apart but the lockup is super solid it is just 
an incredible, incredible knife. Now, last but not least, last knife is the Demco AD20. Now, remember when we were talking about the Demco AD15? This is the AD20. Now, arguably the strongest locking mechanism on the planet. Um, now, the Triad Lock is the strongest locking mechanism on the planet. Now, the Shark Lock by Demco from his mouth saying that it's the about the same strength. So, this lock right here not only is incredibly fidgety, it is incredibly strong. So we have a spring in here that locks this little um, bar right there down into a groove and then the blade hits the stop pen. You can see the groove down in there and you can just hear it so, so loud when that lock snaps in place. And even though it's so strong, I mean, this thing is like a vault right now. I mean, I can't flex anything out of it. It's like, it's just like a piece of a metal and I'm trying to bend. But even though it's that strong, it's also incredibly smooth. The tolerances in this pivot are just on another level. I mean, it's insane. We have 204P steel, or no, 20CV steel, basically the same thing. G10 and... um. A steel, I think this bar right here, uh, yeah, that, that's steel too. Um, but this thing is so fidgety, so much fun, it's so robust, and it's a knife that you don't have to worry about breaking. I mean, it look how thick that thing is. It is incredibly thick, incredibly strong. It's strong on another level. I'm not sure exactly how much weight it can hold on its spine, but it's it's a very, uh, it's such a high number. I mean, it's, it'd probably surprise you how much weight this thing can hold. It is a vault. Now, these are expensive. You can get them, but they're expensive. However, even though these are going to be hard to get right now, you have the Demco 80 20.5, which are more affordable, around 150 bucks. So very, very affordable. Now, it's, it's not the real deal, but it uses the same idea, same locking system, and it is still a Demco knife, and this one's USA made, this one's made in Taiwan, but it does still have an incredibly strong locking mechanism. This one has the shark's foot blade shape, but they also come in this blade shape as well. And it's very similar, just smaller, more affordable. The materials aren't are not as good as this one or not as high end as this one but um right now they're a little hard to get because they're just not available right now but they will be coming out with more and more and more so eventually you'll be able to get one if you would like to and even though it's not going to be as strong as this it's still going to be an incredibly strong knife i think that they said this thing can hold like 700 pounds or something like that um it, i might be mistaken on that i think they said 250 pounds per square inch or something like that for this little guy so that's incredibly strong i hope i said those numbers correctly i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace